Haphazard Jag Boy, and uh, I need you to do me a favor. You do me a favor and go check out Empire Auto Group on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna link it down below, and uh, yeah, so I hope you like it. And uh, go check out their cars. I'll show you my video from that day at Empire Auto Group. Hope you like Empire Auto Group. I hope you like them. And this is their contact information if you want to get a hold of them. This is a Mercedes Benz. And this is the Mercedes. This is a Mercedes E400. 2017. I've never even sat foot in a Mercedes, and this is your what your Mercedes looks like when you open the door. When you open the door, you get a glowing sign, which I did not suspect. Does that? Which I did not suspect, so let's see if it's on every door, if it's just on the front door. Oh, uh, the back door has some lights at the back too. But yeah, it's pretty. This is Look at, in the middle compartment, this is where you keep all your USBs. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool, I thought. Are you interested in this car? Yeah, if I could, if I was driving, yeah. Oh, you don't drive? No, that's why I go to dealership to dealership. To make car reviews. Oh, you do car reviews? Sorry, I have this. Do you want to play in the, the camera? No, no, maybe at the end you can take a picture of our sign. Oh, cool. Yeah, put a picture of our sign in the YouTube video. Sure, if you want me to. Okay, and then if you do that, if you start advertising for us, maybe we can come do more reviews of some different cars, maybe like BMWs and other Mercedes and all that sort of stuff. Okay, cool. Hey, yeah, just get make sure you get our uh, our, our, our logo in it. Our logo in it. Okay. Okay. Logo, yep. and then send uh, send anyone the link. Okay. Either that or I can buy more USBs and do give huh? them to you. Either that or I can bring USBs for you. Yeah, yeah, do that. Give me a USB. Cancel. Let's keep going. Look at this. I am trying to show you. Oh, that's a cooler feature for the dash. I like how that it looks. Like I've not did a full uh, car review with a whole, uh, looks like it's a tablet. Looks like that's what it is. It's not just one screen, it's two different screens. Cause look, 
because if you look at the classic, that is the classic screen. This car, I think we're just gonna focus on the technology side of this Mercedes. Okay, what I'm showing you here is the screen that goes up and down in the back window. Wow, that's cool. Not much. No. <laughs> you should say everything is up. Everything's going on. I have uh, I make videos online. I heard how how is that? Pretty good. How many followers do you have? Seventy five. Subscribe. In London? Yeah, no, I don't know where they're from. Huh? Uh, I think they're from all over. I think there's seventy five it doesn't tell you you I haven't looked at that part for a while. Like have you where they're from? Huh? Have you had any videos going viral? Not in overnight, but I have had them go like over my most viewed video is a Hyundai Sonata not a knock rod knock. <laughs> One very nice ride. Two has good speakers. And three. It's pretty comfortable actually. Has pretty big trunk or a big boot, whatever you want to call it. Look at this feature. There's purple, little glints of purple everywhere in this car. Like, look in the coupler. There's a little bit of purple. 
everywhere. There's a little light everywhere in this car. And if the car's not on, you can't even hear this. This is interesting. The seat moves back and then everything moves a bit. Man, this car's pretty cool actually. It's a pretty nice car actually. Uh, let's get in on the other side. There's where your spare tire goes. Wow. And this is the 2016 class. Look at the little, look at all the lights in this car. They're always using up some type of battery. Look at all the storage. There's a lot of it. You just hit something and watch. You hit this little black thing and this is how the cup holders come out. But, if you were the driver and these were your cup holders, this would be too uh, hard to bring it out while driving. I think it's too complicated for a driver. Good thing it's in the back. I thought there was more storage, so I was pulling on this thing, which I, th I was like, where's more storage? But it ended up being the headrest, not more storage. But look, these cars are having weird spots to tie things down. I understand why trucks have things to tie them down, but not cars to tie stuff down like this in the seats. Okay. So I think we're going to leave today with quite a bit of footage in... Here's even a speaker. There's a speaker in the very back there. As you can tell, this is the speaker right there. That's pretty nice, but we look. I think I like the one in front better because uh, it's not as a. Uh, it's not like it has a lot more room for your legs. Especially if you're a tall guy like myself. If you're a tall guy like myself, rebuild credit. I'm gonna take a picture of the sun and then, or a video of the sun and uh.